good morning good morning on the thursday morning how are you all i'm just getting myself set up off camera as well so i hope you're all doing well oh i've just had a little thing pop up and said congratulations this is your 50th broadcast wow 50 live broadcasts how cool is that that's a bit of a surprise for me um we are going to be doing a sort of a watercolour technique type thing going on here. Good morning, Nicole. How are you going? We're going to do a watercolour technique. Oops, I've got to... Oh, there I am. I'm working. Good morning, good morning. I just had a little thing that popped up and said that this is my 50th broadcast. So how cool is that? That's um, pretty exciting. Good morning, Joe. How are you going? I'm just getting my glasses out. Hello, Chris. Chris, my heckler, she's here. Okay, okay. Oh, everything's working for me this morning. How exciting. How exciting. Okay, so we are going to be doing um, a watercolour technique this morning using some, um, not that you can see that, using some, what's this called? Window sheets, acetate. So it's going to be a little bit of fun, I hope, and I hope it will work out. And there's not going to be any boo-boos this morning. Nothing's going to happen. Everything's going to be really good. And yes, and Chris is going to promise to be really good. And this is this is for Chris, okay? This is because we were chatting yesterday, and this is for Chris. <sighs> okay, that's for you, because I didn't do it. <laughs> so that's just for Chris. Okay, let us get swung around. Oh! I've got to say, also, I did my draw for last week's video prize, so um, I've popped that on my Facebook page, and that, uh, congratulations to Leone. so message me your um, email, uh, not your email, I can't email it to you, you'll need to message me your um, postal address, because I don't have it, so message that to me, and I'll get that in the mail, and this week's prize is a pack of white tea lace paper doilies so that is going to be this week's giveaway so all you have to do to go in the draw to win this is just to chat with me um so for every time you make a comment um you'll be popped in the draw and i will draw this next week so that's our giveaway um i have a thing about doilies so but oh there's a pearl stuck to it too i have a little thing about actually i have a thing about a lot of things so i'm a little bit like that. I've got to think about hearts, I've got to think about bears, I've got to think about doilies. So, um, okay, Chris, you can, you can be naughty. Um, that's fun. Okay, let's get swung around and let's start our happening. Now, I have to also flip my screen and do all that sort of stuff as well. So, hang on with me, bear with me for two moments. Um, hi, Margot. Hey, Lois. Okay, I'm flipping. Oh, what's going on? No, I didn't flip. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So now you're back to front. So now I've got to flip that way. Right. See, we're getting there. And now if I just, whoop, now I'm going to do that. Now I'm just going to zoom in a smidge. There we go. I had a thing about doilies, but I will still use them. All right, I think we're all set up and we're ready to go. My laptop's working. See, everything's going to go perfect today. Nothing is going to go wrong. Absolutely nothing. So, cross fingers, huh? Okay. Now, what we are going to need, I'm just getting my glasses on so I can see properly. What we're going to need is um, some, I've just got this down because it is going to make a little bit of a mess and this is just one of those Teflon sheets and you can get these from um, the supermarket in the barbecue section. I think they're called barbecue sheets or something. They're just a, a non-slip mat sort of thing. This is this is a really, really old um, Tim Holtz one that I, I was given. So. Um, so I'm just put that down yesterday. I mean, if you've got those craft mats, you know, those self healing craft mats, you can just pop that on there. Anything that you can just wipe some water off. Um, so you'll need some watercolor paper. So this is the heavy watercolor paper. Oops, hang on a minute. I've got all these messages popping up on my screen. I've got to get rid of them. Um, okay. So we need some watercolor paper. I've just got a piece of the window sheeting, which is cut just to like a normal card size front 
which is going to be, which is a bit bigger than my watercolor paper. You will need a couple of markers. Today we are going to be working in Bermuda Bay and Crush Curry. So you'll need them for the technique and you will need um, a spritzer with some water in it. Okay, so that's for our technique. Glennis says, hi I'm you but don't seem to be getting a video. Is it happening? Yes, you are actually commenting on the video. So if you can't see it, perhaps just refresh your page and um, or perhaps somebody, I don't know whether she can hear me either. So if somebody just wants to let Glennis know to perhaps just try and refresh the refresh her page and um, she might get it happening that way so that would be great okay now what we need to do first is scribble onto our acetate with the marker now if you like really intense colors which I do good morning Kim how are you I, I really like intense colors so I'm actually putting a lot down squeeze, 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 squeeze. and then I'm just going to put some crushed curry down the bottom I suppose you can see that over that's probably a bit better for you to see so I'm just scribbling my color down if you want a lighter softer effect just you know put less less color down Okay, so we've got something going on like that. Hi, Jennifer. I, yes, Fiona, I really like um, bright, bold colours. And then what we need to do is give that a good spritzing. Now, I'm going to do this off screen because otherwise I'm going to get everything all wet and I'm going to face the other way. But then I'll come back in and show you exactly how much. Because you do actually need a fair bit of water. You need it to be starting to pull. Okay, and that's not really there just yet because what I want is for that color to actually start running okay so we've got quite a bit of water going on there and you can see that my color will run into each other then ever so carefully hi Christina okay then ever so carefully you need to flip it over and then lay that color down and then sort of mush it around now you can see see in areas where it's not got so much water on it and it gives sort of a different texture but if you then go and lift up the corners of your card of this acetate see how see how it flipped that color and and it sort of spread into the yellow and then if we do the same with that one it'll sort of spread around a bit and you can push that color and get it really happening so I'm quite liking it like that I've sort of got my colors blended in that's made a little bit of green it's made some pretty colors now you can see that when I started to lift the acetate up, the window sheet up I was getting like pools of color which I don't really want happening let me get my paper toweling you'll need paper toweling too so to avoid some of that pooling see when I'm lifting it up it's the colors pooling what I'm going to do is just try and just slide that off so that I get more of that look and then I'm just going to blot off some of that color and I'm left with that watercolor background so which is pretty cool one of the girls yesterday did one and hers turned out beautifully you can just pop on a little bit extra if you want some bit more splatters going on there okay and then you just a matter of wiping all that up give that a clean off and you can just keep reusing that and I'm just gonna wipe that off as well now I would probably set that aside and let it dry actually that's gonna I will just have to dab that off because I want to keep using this piece of all right so there's our background piece we are using a whole stack of stamp sets today it's a different look to what I normally go for oh no I think I've frozen on my screen oh I hope you guys haven't frozen let me see if I can keep going if you guys just want to let me know whether you're still there or whether I've frozen up or whether the whole thing's frozen up 
think we're still going. Oh, you know what? It must have. Um, I've got a whole heap of comments here that I haven't seen. I must have frozen. Just I'm just scrolling back. Okay, guys. Um, this is watercolor card, Kim. Uh, the background mat that I'm using is just one from. I'm just getting my laptop set up again. Is is just it's a tef, It's a non-stick Teflon sheet. That one that I have there is a Tim Holtz one, but you can actually get barbecue um, sheets. You know those liners? I think they're black. I don't think that they're that tan colour, but you can get them in the... Okay, I think, I think I'm back now. You can get them in the barbecue section of the supermarket. So it's just a non-stick. Oh, what is going on? You know, just when you think everything is going to be working fine. Okay, let me pull in all the stamp sets that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using the dots from the Dragonfly Dreams. I'm going to be using the smaller Dragonfly from Awesomely Artistic. Oh, no, why can't things go to plan? Now my whole thing's all... I might have to end up standing up. I'm going to be using the Labeler Alphabet. And I'm also going to be using this little flourish thing here from First Sight. So let us get started with our stamping. It's sort of a, it's, it's all, it's going to be a different background. Okay. And this thing's still stirring up. Ow. I'll have to keep standing up every now and then. Okay. So my colors are Bermuda Bay and Crushed Curry. I can't even I can't even stop my page to refresh it on my laptop. Help me! Anyway, okay, I'm going to stamp stamp standing up so that I can see the comments on my screen. So my arms will look really long. Right. It's it's the background's going to be different, okay? And it's probably going to look a total mess as well. So I'm just going to stamp with my with the small dragonfly and I'm going to stamp off before I stamp on because I just want it sort of all blended in and have them sort of go like they're flying across the page like that okay we're going to be building up all of our stamping now I'm also going to I'll wash these later so I'm going to also pop in some dots I'm going to pop them up in the top corner there somewhere Okay, and then I'm also going to oh, might as well leave that open. Hey, I'm going to clean that one off. Oh, upside down is Jane, and I'm running out of I'm running out of spritzer. Ah, there we go. Hold the bottle up, right? So, how have your week been this week? We're nearly at the end of another week. I can't believe we're nearly, um, we're nearly, we well, might as well say February's over. Hey, it was Valentine's Day the other day. I hope you all got um, spoilt. Okay, so I'm going to put some crushed curry dots down the bottom. I might even put some along. Oh, no, no, I won't. Mm, no, I won't do any more. Um, of course, you know. Nothing happened in my household, but that's okay. We're not really into all of that sort of stuff, so that's all good. Okay, now I'm going to be using the Flourish. I'm going to I'm going to close this page on my laptop and see whether actually I think my whole laptop's frozen. <laughs> That'd be right. That's okay. So now I'm going to go back to my Bermuda Bay and I'm going to add a little bit of this Flourish. And I think I'll stamp, oh, maybe I won't stamp off this time. Yesterday I did stamp off. But I just want to pop it where there's some little gaps. Just to have a little bit more interest. Try and bring it into the middle a little bit. So we've sort of got a fair bit going on in this background. One of the ladies yesterday, her background there was absolutely gorgeous. Actually, it's it's fun seeing because this you know this is the type of card that doesn't matter how many times you do it 
they'll all be completely different. So it was great to see all the different variations that came up yesterday. Um, yeah, my laptop's playing up. Are you still with me? No one's very chatty. I feel like I'm talking to myself, but I hope I'm not. So just to get you all chatting again, this is my giveaway this week. So we have to do this chat with me. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's my background layer pretty well done how I want it to be. So now I am going to, this piece here by the way if you're recreating is 9, nine by 11 and a half. Okay, and then I'm going to mount that onto a piece of crushed curry which is 9 and a half by 12. I think I had it. Nine and a half by twelve. Yep. So, and because this piece is still a little bit damp, I'm actually just going to use a fair bit of snail. Okay. Pop that like that, and then I've got a piece of Bermuda Bay card, which is ten and a half by twenty six. And I'm going to fold that in half. Oh, I'm back again. Oh, I'm back again. Here we go. So, so okay, so this is really weird. So the comments aren't showing on my... Oh! Yeah, oh, man, I didn't... Oh, look at this. My, my comments aren't scrolling. My comments aren't working on my screen. Oh, there we go. Everyone is chatting. Oh. My comments aren't working. My laptop was was mucking up, and now, and now everything's back to working again. Oh, phew! Technology, don't you just love it? Yes, no flowers on this card. Can you believe it? Actually, I don't think there was flowers on my last card. What did I do for my last card? I can't even remember. Oh no, I did hearts, and there was no flowers on the card before that either. So there. <laughs> Okay, I need to get some dimensionals now. Actually, I don't even think I've stamped with flowers for a long time because before that I did my stamp by mail cards, which is all the cool treats. I'm going to have to get back to flowers, you know. Okay, so popping some dimensionals down. Okay, everything's working again. Okay. Pull the top off of them. I cut my fingernails yesterday and now I'm missing them. They always feel weird when you cut them for that first time. No, I agree. Flowers. See, it's because my house is full of boys. Alright, so I'm just sticking that on there. I think that's why my cards are very girly because I don't... Um, I, you know, I've got boys. Okay, so now what we did next, so there's our background going on. What we did next is, oh, and look what happened. Man, I need to get some magnets. When I opened it up the first time, the tape on this was so strong that it tore all my packaging. Very upset. And now none of these will stick in there because there's paper all stuck to them. So what we did is we cut out the big dragonfly from black. Well, we're going to do the big one, the small one, so that then, because I did something different, I was going to cut that out as well and we were going to do something or other with it. But we ended up going for the big dragonfly. And then under the wings, I've popped, I'll show you, because it's probably easier to do it that way. <laughs> oh, God, I hate it when that happens. What? Okay, so what we ended up doing is glued on, glued it onto some um, Bermuda Bay and some crushed curry cardstock, and then just cut around it. So, I mean, you can do that other that other little trick where you you know you get all the pieces and you inlay them, and but that was just going to be way way too much. Um, for the time limit that we had so so we just sort of did it in a faux stained glass type way so we just stuck it on the back and um, and then I've got it all ready to go so that's going to go on my card here 
So, oh, I think everything's working. I think I can sit down now. And it'll probably be when I sit down that everything doesn't work, want to work again. <laughs> so, yes, it's just the right amount of busyness. Oh, man, now what's happened? You know, I see. I'm going to stand up again. So we're going to pop that across there. And then what we did is we used the labeler alphabet this one here now when when I line these ones up on my blocks you always get that little bit of um, because you've got that extra little bit of around the stamp they always seem a little bit too far away for me for my liking like the letters seem too far away for because they end up stamping like that even when you join them close together and I want them closer together and I think there was five of us yesterday and it would have just been really time consuming to pass everything around so what we did is we stamped them out. So you'll need, if you're doing happy birthday, you'll need two, um, you know, two stampings for each one. And then we, yes, and this is really mean of me, but I made everyone cut out every single little letter and glue them down individually. And then when you cut them out, you end up with that. See? It was just a little bit time consuming, but it gave the look that I wanted. So now all I need to do is mount them up as well so I'm just going to pop them down and I've just spotted another type of watercoloring um, background thing that I want to try as well so if I can get that working we might do that for next week as well and yes I'm being a bit excessive with my dimensionals but I want them to stand up quite nicely okay so I don't think this is going to... Uh, this is what happens when you get a little a little um, laptop that I should have saved up properly and bought a Mac, you know? And all those new ones out, that would have been so cool. Okay, so then we just sort of put happy birthday and because it's fairly rustic in, in the alphabet labeler, it doesn't, I, you know, I'm not even fussed whether it's on there straight. It'll probably will be now that I've said that, I don't really care. So popping my happy birthday on there. And there's just one more thing that I need to do. And I will sit down. Uh, I'll sort of sit down for it. And that is to paint the dragonfly in some glitter. Wink of Stella. There we go. Give it a bit of a squeeze because you know you gotta have sparkle we had a when we were playing basketball last week the poor little dragonfly because the weather must be really good for dragonflies at the moment and um, the poor dragonfly come into the basketball stadium and he was bouncing around with all the players and the ball and and um, and then he got stuck up in the rafters and I don't know what ended up happening to him my youngest was like, oh, I want to go and save him. So, but I sort of, you find that when, when the humidity is up a little bit more, you um, see more dragonflies. Check that out. Isn't that cool? So the other colours that we did, because um, I said to the girls, oh, what colours are we going to do? What you know, shall I do tomorrow? And they're all like, purple. I'm like, No. Because I don't think that purple has a really good... Oh, I might be wrong. You could probably blend a light purple and a dark purple together. But you have to be careful of the colours that you're going to go blending. Okay? So, because some of them, when they blend together, like if you did purples into blues or something, you're going to end up with um, a nice brown <laughs> smudge, like squish in between so we're these two have blended nicely into green um, this is a wink of Stella pen so and it does that how pretty is that wisteria yes I love wisteria it goes so nicely with always artichoke so, so pretty. Okay, so we also did, I, I didn't actually finish my cards yesterday. 
but oh we stamped the envelopes too check that out we stamped the back of our envelopes just for something a little bit different yes wink of stella or as we call it a stink of weller so we also did a pink one pink works really really well as well so i've got to finish this card off yet but that one's really pretty too so you just pretend that that one's finished because that one will blend into you know your pink and your yellows will blend into orange and your greens work really well your greens and uh, your sorry your blues and yellows work really pretty together um Green and yellow would probably look really pretty together as well, but just be careful um, of, of your matches because you, some of them won't blend together nicely and you might end up with um, some pretty nasty colours in the middle, which you don't want. Oh, so there we go. There's my card for this week. Don't forget my prize, which is the doilies, and I'll draw this out next week. Um... So all you have to do is keep chatting. You can keep commenting. Oh, you know, even if you're not watching live, you can still come and chat and comment with me and I'll, I'll come back and, and reply to you. Oh, actually, I do want to show you a few other things because I was mucking around because this was in my head and I didn't actually know what I was going to be doing when I went to Lincoln Learn yesterday. But I did have a quick play with this technique. Um, no hiccups. Do you know what? I had the hiccups about... Oh, I'm disappointed too. I had the hiccups about four or five times yesterday. And I was thinking, I think it's grapes. I think it's white grapes that give me the hiccups. So just as well I didn't eat any beforehand. I just want to show you a bit of my mucking around that I did, yes, the, the other night. This is on Whisper White. So I don't find that it worked really well because I ended up with, you know, dots and splotches. So that didn't work overly well. Um... That was on um, Shimmer, <clears throat> so that worked quite nicely, and that was with three colours, so that was Melon Mambo, um, Calypso Coral, oh, it's very dark now, Calypso Coral and Crush Curry, and that was just mucking around on watercolour paper, but going really lightly, like I didn't put a lot of colour down on the acetate. Why is it dark? Hmm. Oh, I don't know why that happened. Okay, um, that was just me mucking around, trying to work out my colour blends. That's on watercolour paper. This one is on shimmer, and this is what happens if you don't put enough water on. It sort of doesn't blend properly. And that was three colours on shimmer. But this one turned out really pretty as well. So this one is, if you can see it, it's not really, maybe my light... That's a bit better. You can sort of see it a bit better, the colours. But that one's a really, really soft one. And that was done on watercolour, uh, shimmer, shimmer paper, but just really, really lightly. Um, yeah, I tend to use, I tend to use watercolour a lot more as well. It's a bit more forgiving. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. She's a lovely lady. I'll pay her later. Um, yeah, so that's just a really, really soft color not so much put down on that first sheet of acetate when when we smush it on there and it sort of blended and dried really nicely too so that's good okay so that's it there's my cards um if you're coming in at the tail end it's always on replay and the videos are always there um tim tam slam oh gosh no Ew. yuck that's gross. It's like eating something that somebody else has already eaten. It's yucky. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so... Oh, I haven't even got them in my... Or is that my video not working? Okay, so... Um, now I can't think of what I was going to say. Thanks. Oh, yum, pavlova. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. It's gone. No, nah, must have been a lie. Must have been a lie distracted um oh that's right i was telling you about the videos so if you're coming in late and you want to find the videos if you want to find any of the videos all you have to do is like when you go to the facebook page like my business page along the side there there's like home posts videos photos blah 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 if you go to the video section all of them are stored in there and also, if you're looking for the live ones, because, you know, apparently I've done 50 of them now, um, 
but only the episodes that I've been hashtagging. If you hashtag Alisa Tilsner Live, then all the ones that I've um, started doing in the regular time slot should show up in the one place as well. So you can always go back in there. But probably looking at the videos on the um, Facebook page is probably the easiest way to go and do it. Okay, so now that you've stared at that long enough, I'll bring them in once more. Don't forget to you can comment chat away with me and I will draw out a winner next week and post that on my Facebook page and then get them in the mail for you. Okay, so have an awesome awesome Thursday.